Hey everyone, uh, today I'm going to be talking about the Wild Rift Pass and one of the biggest questions I've had is, is it worth it? Like, can you do some calculations and work out are the rewards worth the investment? Well, that's what I've done today. A uh, few, few disclaimers. Some of the resources in the game are very difficult to assign a real money value. So a, I'm using wild cores as that's consistent across every currency, uh, currency in the world. So it's difficult to assign them a wild core value, um, but I've done my best. Uh, and I've got a little Excel sheet explaining everything. Um, the TLDR, if you don't want to watch the video, is that if you're buying the uh, the basic Wild Rift Pass, it's about 1,300% 1, uh, uh, value. So you're going to get 1,300% return in terms of value on your 500 and whatever it is, 590 investment. If you're buying the Elite Pass, you're going to get about a 780% return on your investment. So... The disclaimer with that comes that, you know, obviously you don't get to select your skins. If you don't, if you want specific content, then clearly this won't be for you. If you just want, if you if you don't mind getting things like baubles and icons and all that kind of stuff, then obviously the Wild Rift Pass is great. Um, and also like, con like customizable and purchasable, purchasable content is very specific um to the to the person to the user and so therefore you know people might not enjoy the type of content that the wild rift pass has to offer or people will enjoy it and be really really overjoyed with the type of stuff that they're getting from it but the tldw i guess because too long didn't watch is that yes it's worth it massively worth it go and buy it if you haven't already uh, and you'll get a big return in value um secondly uh <laughs> someone commented on the video i had my my my, my web come up like this before and someone commented Wow, Excandra, I used to watch you three years ago, and the years haven't been kind to you. You what? <laughs> do, I, do I look that old in three years? Uh, it's just lockdown life, isn't it? Anyway, guys, uh, so go and watch the video and just work, see how I worked it out. But uh, yeah, basically, it is worth it, 100%. So I did some mathematical calculations for the wild rift pass value or the wild pass value because a lot of people have been asking, is it mathematically worth it? Should I buy it? Um, you know, is it worth the investment? And of course, there are two tiers of investments as well. There is the basic wild pass value, which is 590. And then there is the elite value, which gets you some extra levels and also grants you extra missions to unlock things quicker. So I've worked out and some, some basic rough estimates of what each of the individual uh, rewards are worth. And then I've also then compared it to the elite and the basic pass value to tell you what the sort of the value is versus the investment that you put in. Okay, the first of which is 2,500 Poro Essence Coins, which I valued at 375 Wild Cores. Why have I va valued it at 375 Wild Cores? Well, 5,000 Poro Essence gets you a Poro Essence chest, which unlocks you a random skin of, of between a value of 525 and 990 Wild Cores. I took the middle value between 525 and 990, divided it by 5,000 to give me a one Poro Essence worth 0 0.15 Wild Cores, multiplied by that by 2,500 to give me 375. Now, this is not completely accurate because I did not take weighting of number of skins at each individual value uh, into account. And of course, depending on the skins that you already own, it may be weighted one way or the other. Um, but this is a very basic guideline to what 2,500 Poro Essences are worth. And I would say, I would say in general, if we have a look at the uh, the store, because we can actually have a look at the store. I would say if we have a look at the store, there's a significant number of, of 990 skins in there. And I would say I'm seeing more 725 and 990 than I am seeing of, of the, the 525 skins overall. So I would even wager that it's potentially weighted a little bit further towards the 990 skins, which would bring the value of Poro Essence up in general. Then I've done 600 Poro coins. Uh, I valued that at 475. How have I done that? Okay, this is this is a little bit more difficult to, to show, but I will go and show you on the store. Okay, so we go to the Poro store, we go to the Poro chest. I looked at the... the, the um, rewards that are available okay now through my other testing i have assigned a value to a specific reward for instance an emote in the shop if i can click is worth uh 245 wild cores 
So I basically added up the value of all of the individual uh, rewards. And of course, we've already worked out what Poro Essence is worth. So I've also assigned a value to the Poro Essence. I then essentially divided by the number of re rewards available, not accounting for the weighting given to each of them. And then I, I basically took a little bit of the value off to account for some of the random weighting value. So I've worked out that 200 Poro, coin, 200 Poro coins is worth on average around 125 wild cores. Maybe a little more based on the, the weighting of the... Um, the rewards but i like to underestimate here uh just to be just to be safe so then 600 poro coins is purely three times my one uh, my 200 poro coins value at 475 wild cores 2750 wild moats well that's a really really easy one to work out 2750 is literally just half of 5500 uh, and that's a, that's a champion unlock all champions are worth uh, 725 and so essentially I just rounded it to 360 wild court value so that's easy enough two player icons well again super easy to work out but um no sorry not not as easy to work out because buying player icons uh is not as easy to find the price for at least right now anyway so essentially I I assigned them the same value as emotes so if you go to the shop emotes are worth 245 uh so all of the emotes and all of the baubles are worth 245. So I essentially assigned emotes 245. So therefore two emotes is 490. One icon selection chest, 245. One emote chest, 245. One bauble chest, as I said, 245. One champion pose. Um, that actually might be a little different now. Give me one second. We will... So I hadn't updated that from my previous calculations. So a champion pose costs 200 wild coins. Sorry, 200 poro. Sorry, 400 poro coins. Wow, I can't get my words out. 400 poro coins. So we essentially times our value that we've assigned 200 poro coins by two, 250 wild cores. Two skin pose chests. Um, that would actually be 500. Because again, I haven't updated it. Um, and oh, bloody hell, I've just dropped. Oh, Jesus. Banners, I've assigned the same price as baubles and emotes, so 490 for two. Two baubles are 490. Um, one recall port is usually worth about 590, so I've added that in as well. Icon border, 245. Epic skin, even though it's random, worth 990 wild cores. Already makes it worth it but in its own right, by the way. An exclusive skin, which I would say is of epic value, which is 990. And then a skin pose as well, which is, uh, again, worth 250 because uh, a champion pose similar skin pose similar thing um which gives a total wild core value of 7720 now i didn't include the team boost and the blue moat boost boosts because they're quite difficult to work out exactly how much they're worth but we could we could assign a small nominal value i think to both of them uh but for the most part i'm going to leave them blank those are things that you're just going to get extra added in so if we then work out that 7720 uh wild core value of the entire pass comparing that to the 590 or the 990 that you buy you would have invested originally if you were to spend 590 on the wild core pass this would be 13 times the value that you spent originally essentially 1300 percent more more uh like i guess worth it than spending 590 over the course of the next few weeks if you then upgrade to the elite pass it's worth about 7.8 times or 780 percent better than your initial investment so I can say without a shadow of a doubt that if you care about all the stuff on this list and you want all the stuff on this list, then it's absolutely worth, you know, absolutely. If you're the kind of person, though, that wants to get a specific skin for a specific champion, you don't care about emotes, baubles, whatever, poro essence, poro coins, champion poses. If you don't care about any of that crap, then sure, this might not be as worth it for you. But if you're just looking to collect as much stuff in the game as possible, and you're not that bothered about the kind of stuff that you get, you just want to get stuff, then this is the wild, the wild pass is absolutely worth, 100% worth the initial investment. Uh, of course, there is a little bit extra in terms of calculation that you can do in terms of the, the XP value that you need to get to those certain thresholds. Because I do believe on the basic threshold um you are going to be pushing it to get all the way to the top you have to basically be playing and maxing out your experience every week on the basic wild piss uh, wild rift pass the elite pass gives you a little bit more flexibility in terms of actually achieving the max tier from the wild pass um if you're going to buy the wild pass basic though you need to be playing 
and hitting your max XP goals every week to be able to get to the end of the Wild Pass. With the Wild Rift Pass Elite, you've got a bit more flexibility and you'll get there quicker. Um, but again, just based on the calculations that I've done, this is rough calculations. And some of these some of these currencies are very difficult to work out their true wild core value. But I've just done a basic wild core value assessment on what the, what you get from this wild rift pass, and it is worth it hugely as long as you don't really care about the type of skin that you're getting. You don't get a skin selection; you get a random skin. Um, you obviously get the free jack skin, but you get loads of extra bits like the blue moats, the banners, the baubles, the recall ports, all the extra little fluffy bits that you know help improve your customization in wild rift overall but it is worth it you know if you've got that extra to spend it is worth it and i, I don't even know if i can give away wild passes by the way um i don't know if it's possible to gift wild passes okay i can't work out how to uh gift the wild pass but yeah the wild path is if you care about everything in this list it's absolutely worth it, 100% of the of, of the uh, the cases, and um, I, I would definitely get it. Uh, just for a small investment, you get so much reward, and uh, even though you you're not going to get like skins that you want, you I mean the random skins that you have on offer though are really good. I mean I got Dark Star Oriana, and I play Oriana a lot, so that was a really good um, pickup. But it has loads and loads and loads of great skins to choose from from this random skin selection chest. Um, and, you know, with ARAM out, it's even got the project skins. That you can even get one of the project skins if you're really lucky. So uh, there's plenty of great skins that you can get from the skin selection chest. But absolutely, 100%, it is worth it. Um, the Wild Rift Paths is is massive value. Massive value if you want to invest into a little bit uh, and get yourself uh, a, bit of, a bit of a high value reward back for a Wild Core investment. Uh, hopefully that helped you figure out whether it's worth it to buy the Wild Pass or not. And uh, yeah, see you soon.